in today's topic we are going to learn about Instagram APIs here is the official website of Instagram APIs and we are going to use the second method which is Instagram API with Facebook login So by these APIs, you can easily manage your business or creator's Instagram account like getting and managing published photos, videos, stories or get basic data regarding other Instagram business accounts or moderating comments and so many things and also you, uh, you can like publish your content with these APIs as well so today we are going to learn about how to like make these APIs work and we will go through step by step and we will see like what resources we need how to run that and after all we are going to use Python to like trigger those APIs so be with me So let me grab a list of the resources that we need. First of all, we need to create a Facebook account and create a Facebook page. Remember here that this Facebook account and page, we are only going to use this to authenticate ourselves. Uh, so there is no other use of this page at all. So, so for this example, I have created this FB APIs page yeah, with my Facebook account. Second is you need to create Instagram business account. Remember one thing that this API only works with business account and the creator's account only. And here I created this FB API test Instagram account, which is a business account. link Facebook page to Instagram business account right so for that go to Facebook click on settings go down and here you can see link accounts I already con connected it with this FBA pay test account yeah. so it's kind of like you just need to log in here and just click hello hello that's all fourth thing create facebook developers account so here is the link to like how to register yourself as a meta developer and this is very easy because you already have this facebook account uh, you just need to click on this one and that's all Here, uh, just click on my apps. I already have one app, but let's ignore it and just create a new one. Write any app name. I'm using API Tester. Use case, click on other. Type business. Just click on create app. Here click on Instagram and set up. Now again go to add product find this Facebook login for business click on setup and just click on save changes 
now let's go back to our list we just created our facebook app now what we need is get facebook app id and secret that you can easily get from settings here is your app id and here is your app secret yeah just save it somewhere get facebook page id how to get that is go to your facebook page we are into setting just click Mac. so here is your facebook page go to about click on this page transparency and here is your page id just save it yeah. now how to get your instagram business account id so to get that we will run one api in facebook graph explorer so here i already opened that graph api explorer you can google it uh, and what we need to do is here just select all instagram permissions So it will be useful for you in future to test any API directly within this Graph API Explorer, right? Select your app. I have selected this API tester. Click on Generate Access Token. Here, uh, it will ask you to continue as your facebook account and click on continue now what you need to do is you need to select your instagram account within this list i have this fb api test that we are going to use click on continue click on save now your access token is available uh, our task is to find our instagram business account id for that we need to use this endpoint uh, which is having your facebook page id then fields and instagram account so generally we are just getting uh, instagram business account which is connected to our facebook page id yeah so my facebook page id is 560 5610 just copy it and paste it here yeah. and just click on submit sorry uh, we we need this permission as well click on generate access token again continue select your facebook page instagram id save now click on submit again now it will show you the correct results and this is your instagram business account id just save it along with your app id and secret yeah so now let's see how to get this user access token 
so it's not convenient every time to just open this api explorer and get your token so instead what you can do is click on this tools view all tools and here you will find access token tool and now here is your user access token of your application yeah just copy it so here uh, next thing is get long access token yeah that uh, we will cover within next video uh, and why it is useful is this user access token are short lived token uh, it will only last long up to 60 minutes so after 60 minutes you need to like get a new token by visiting your browser and this tool yeah so instead of doing that what we will do is we will get this long access token with the help of this user access token and this long access tokens are having longer lifetime and which is from the official documentation if we see the yeah you can see here short lived tokens usually have a lifetime about an hour and while long lived tokens usually have a lifetime of about 60 days so it means for 60 days we can just our run our python code and it will work without any issues so it's a long access token instead of just using this user access token every time